another video. Today I'm going to be doing a swatch video on all of these beautiful Huda Beauty lip contour sets. I've had these for quite a while and I decided I might as well film a swatch video for you guys. Like all of my lip swatch videos I'm going to be going from lightest to darkest just so it's easier um, for me to apply them. And I'll also be going through talking about each product, um, talking about the textures and the actual quality of the product, and then I will have blog pictures on my blog as well so I will leave that link down below. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, the first set that I have here is the Trendsetter and Bombshell. In one of these sets you get two liquid lipsticks and then one lip liner. So this lip liner here, if I can take it out, this one is in the shade Trendsetter and then there's also a Trendsetter um, liquid lipstick and then this guy should be Bombshell. So I'm going to first put on the lip liner, so let me get a mirror out. So I've heard a lot about Huda Beauty, but I haven't tried that many of her products, so let's try this out. This is what Trendsetter Lip Liner looks like on my lips. It's kind of like a orangey kind of brownie color. This lip liner is quite soft. It is a lot more softer than the MAC lip liners. I do quite like them still. They kind of have like a tackiness to them. I really like this color of lip liner, but as you can see, if I purse my lips a little bit, my lips kind of stick together. So I wouldn't really wear this lip liner on its own, but I am going to try the liquid lipstick on top of it. This is the liquid lipstick that matches the Trendsetter um, lip liner, so let's try that out. So this is what Trendsetter liquid lipstick looks like on the Trendsetter lip liner, and I do really like the color. Um, I like how it's kind of like an orangey kind of brownie color. I think it would be perfect for the fall. I feel like it applied really nicely. Um, it was quite light on the lips as well. You could also use this without the lip liner as well. I think it would go on just as smoothly. The liquid lipstick kind of took away a little bit of the tackiness that the lip liner had. But you can still see my lips are kind of sticking together a little bit. Um, and that doesn't really go away throughout the day as I tried it once before. I'm just looking at the package instructions here, um, and I didn't really follow the lip liner um, instructions over here, but I will try putting a little bit of this um, bombshell liquid lipstick on the center of my lower lip to see if I can get this kind of effect. In the tube, these two look quite similar together, um, so we'll see if they kind of make like a little ombre effect. I will also try this with the Trendsetter lip liner right after this. That's very interesting. I don't usually try and do like lip contouring because um, I just have really small lips in general so I don't really want to overdraw my lips too much because it, it can look a little bit weird on me. But I do quite like that and that was just like a really simple trick of putting a lighter color on the inside. Hmm. I really like that. Look how big my lips look. I like the doe foot of these. These are a little bit bigger than normal, but they're still quite stiff, so um, they're really easy to control. And I like how these mini ones um, have like short stubby sticks. Mm, I really like this color. It is just a little less orangey than Trendsetter, I think. This is more on the like slightly pinker side. I think this lip color will also look really good with like World Lip Liner from MAC. I think that's just so gorgeous. Oh, I have a little bit. On my teeth. Yeah, I definitely don't think I'd be wearing the lip liners by themselves. I definitely could wear the liquid lipsticks um, on their own. But I don't know if they'll have the same lasting power and I think they would be a little bit dry. Right now I can see a lot of little lines on my lips. They're kind of like being accentuated by the liquid lipstick. But on camera and from far you don't even notice it. Right now it's not a real deal breaker for me, but I really do like this color. The next set that I have here is called Trophy Wife and Muse, and this is kind of like a purpley, more pinky set. Um, again, you have Trophy Wife lip liner, Trophy Wife um, liquid lipstick, and then Muse lipstick here. So again, going in with the lip pencil, I'm going to try and go um, by the little back here and try and do some lip contouring. So let's see how that goes. I really like the color of this Trophy Wife um, lip liner. Again, I still feel a little bit of the tackiness, but a little bit less now that I haven't filled in um, the little gaps in my lips. Now I'm going to go try the Trophy Wife liquid lipstick. 
So I'm just gonna apply this all over my lips and see what happens. So this liquid lipstick kind of reminds me of a darker, more plummy version of Sore Lip Liner from MAC. This is definitely a little bit more on the berry side though, but it's still in the same color family. The texture of these is also really light. Um, it's not super um, heavy on your lips, like you barely feel it. Why you feel it a little bit is because of the tackiness of the lip liner. Um, now I'm going to go in with a little bit of Muse in the center of my lips. I'm not sure if I like the combination of Trophy Wife and Muse that much. Muse is a little bit more on the kind of like gray purple side, so I don't really think it matches with this liquid lipstick in general. I think some people with a different skin tone than me um, would have better luck with this combination. But now I'm curious to see what Muse would look like with the lip liner, so I'm going to take this off. So this is what Muse Liquid Lipstick looks like with Trophy Wife Lip Liner underneath. I do really like the color of Muse. I'm not sure if it's good on my skin tone. Maybe if I have just different eye makeup, a little bit more warm on the eyes, then I would really like this. With these two liquid lipsticks, I would probably skip out on the lip liner, but it's nice to have if you have a kit. I do really like the shade individually. Um, I think my favorite from this kit is definitely going to have to be Trophy Wife. Muse is just a little bit too gray for me at the moment. Maybe in the summer when I have a little bit more color then I would like it more. Now we're moving on to the very last kit that I have and I'm so excited for this. It's such a dark beautiful color. Um, this one is Vixen and Famous. We have the lip liner in Vixen, the liquid lipstick in Vixen, and then you have a liquid lipstick in Famous. So again, I'm going to try and do like the contoury lip liner thing. We'll see how that works out. I don't really think it makes a difference on me personally because you're just covering it up with another color. And because the shades are quite similar or they're matching lip liners with a liquid lipstick, I don't really think it makes that big of a difference. So I got a little carried away and colored in my whole upper lip. Um, but let's just keep going with the liquid lipstick. That just makes me so happy. I know that these are all pretty much fall colors, but oh, I love them. Ooh. So I am completely obsessed with this liquid lipstick. I think it is such a gorgeous color. Look at that. Notice that this was the tiniest bit streaky just because the formula is watery in general. But once it dried down, like, it is totally opaque. I'm going to try putting on the next liquid lipstick, which is called Famous. Let's try this. So again, I'm just going to put this on the center of my lips and see if I like it. So that's what it looks like with a little bit of Famous on the inside. Again, not really that much of a difference for me. I'm not sure if I really like having these two tones. For some reason, throughout this video, I do notice that these are getting on my teeth. I don't know if it's because of me and like a human error or maybe the formula is a bit too watery for me. So now I'm going to try um, Famous with the um, Vixen lip liner. It's clearly not leaving my lips so um, you can tell that it's going to be very long lasting. <laughs> Okay, so I really do like this color as well. This one, again, is the shade Famous. This is more on, like, the ready side and less on the berry. I feel like with all really dark liquid lipsticks or lip liners, you need to be very careful because it can go all over your face like it is right now on mine. <laughs> really like these colors. I think so far this is the best lip liner from Huda Beauty that I've tried. I really like the color and I might even use this on its own. The other ones I wouldn't really use. Again, I do find that my lips are still a little bit tacky, even if they have set already. I have tried one of these sets when I was out and about, and I found that the tackiness didn't go away for the whole day. So this is just what it sets to. I think the main reason for the tackiness is the lip liner. Um, I think without the lip liners, the liquid lipsticks would do just fine. You probably would need to do a couple of coats. Overall, I really do like these sets, but I'm not too keen on the whole lip contouring. I think the only set that did very well on that was the first set, which was Trendsetter and Bombshell, because the shades are already quite similar. The other two sets didn't really work out for me. I would, however, recommend picking up these sets, because even if you do not like um, doing this whole lip contouring trend, then you still do get an awesome selection of products. I believe these liquid lipsticks are half the size of the regular um, liquid lipsticks, so you do get a full size with two different shades. I also think they are a very good value for money. They're also great as gifts. So if I had to rate these sets on which one I like the best, 
Um, I would definitely say that Vixen and Famous is my favorite. Then I think um, Trophy Wife and Muse, and then I would go for Trendsetter and um, Bombshell. So I think that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I hope it was informational for you guys. Like always, I will have swatches on my blog if you guys want to see more HD quality, and I will have all of my social media links down below in the description box. Alright, so I think that is it for me today, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.